Okay, today we are talking about a very interesting topic and it is internet and netiquette. Do you know what netiquette is? It is the polite use of the network. So we are going to follow a series of slides in which I'm trying to describe you the topic. Um, here we have an image where you can see the biggest words. So netiquette, it is linked to people to the idea of respect, you have to follow a, a code, a series of rules in order to behave in a particular way in different situations. Netiquette is a new word, it is a blend coming from the word network plus etiquette. And these are rules which are applied when you communicate over computer networks, especially internet so, as we as already, have already said, polite online behavior and a series of conventions. When we talk about the internet etiquette, we are talking about data and its use. We are talking about text, audio, graphic and video. So, uh, if we want to give another definition, we would say that netiquette is a general set of guidelines to keep internet communication civil and useful. There are a series of rules you should follow when you use internet. We have 10 rules. This is the first one. Remember the human. When you communicate electronically, all you see is a computer screen. But in fact, you don't have the opportunity to use your facial expression, your gestures and tone of voice. So be careful not to be misunderstood by the other people on the other side of the screen. Rule number two, adhere to the same standard of behavior online that you follow in reality. Because some people may think that a lower standard of ethic or personal behavior is acceptable in cyberspace, but it is not so. Number three, know where you are in cyberspace. When you are going for the first time, entering for the first time in a domain, you should start mm, looking around, lurking, before you leap. It means, please remember, you have to check where you are before participating. Rule number four, respect other people's time and bandwidth. It means that when you send an email, you are taking a uh, time of the other person. So don't waste other people's time and be brief and concise. Number five, make yourself look good online. You won't be judged by the color of your skin, your eyes, your age, but by the quality of your writing. So remember to proofread what you write. So spelling and grammar do count and pay attention also to the content of your writing. Rule number six, share expert knowledge. The internet was founded and grew because scientists wanted to share information. So you can do your part. Don't be afraid to share what you know. Rule number seven, how to keep flame wars under control. Um, people might get upset with each other in cyberspace, but it is important not to be rude. And remember, um, avoid flaming or sentences typed in all caps. It means you are screaming. Rule number eight, respect the other people's privacy. Don't read other people's emails and don't forward private emails without the permission of the sender. Rule number nine, don't abuse your power. If you know more than others, you should use your power to take advantage of them. Rule number 10, be forgiving of other people's mistakes. If they are making mistakes, uh, be kind about it and think twice before reacting. Everyone was a ne network newbie once. If you decide to inform someone, point it out politely by private mail rather than public. So, these are the assignments. Number one, answer the following question. Are you a polite or impolite user of the net? Assignment number two, choose one of the 10 rules of the netiquette and be ready to talk about it during class. 
Number three, write a short text reflecting on this topic and describing your personal experience as a net user. So, uh, I'm going to leave you now, but remember, learn English and do awesome work and have fun. Bye-bye.